how can you make a hundred thousand NT a month teaching English in Taiwan? Yes, yes, sell, insider. Okay, other good things. Money's good. Uh, how much? How much money can you make in a month? If you want to work, you can make. Uh, you can make a hundred thousand NT a month if you want to work. Now, a hundred thousand NT. It's just short of 2,000 pounds, so probably about 3,500 US maybe. Uh, or that's 4,000 Canadian. How many, how many hours does that take though to get that? Uh, you might make that money, you might need to work about 7 or 8 hours a day. Yeah, about 8 hours a day to make that kind of money. Um, which is, can be quite tiring. Yeah. Okay, so first off, i got to be honest with you. That's, that's difficult, pretty difficult to do, and for most, I'd say most of you aren't going to be able to do that, just because you don't want it enough. You're definitely going to have to, like, really want to do this, to, to it's going to take a lot of work, it's going to be difficult, it's not going to be easy, um, but it's possible to do, okay? So how are you going to do that? Well, simply said, if you make most, most jobs in Taiwan, they're going to pay you, uh, Starting wage is pretty much 600 NT an hour, which is about 20 bucks, 20 US dollars an hour. So uh, pretty easy to find jobs paying you that much an hour. And then so it's going to take about 48 hours. So if you work 48 hours, uh, 48 teaching hours, and you're getting paid 600 NT an hour, it's going to be uh, six days a week. That's what, it, that's what it turns out, unless you can do it in five days somehow. Um, it's going to be 115, more than 115,000 115, NT. So, <clears throat> now last I checked, uh, that was like 3,800 bucks or something like that, US dollars. So, now let me break it down. So, how are you going to do it? Uh, Basically, most of you are probably going to be, if you work in a Bushimon, you're going to be making fifty to 60,000 NT a month if you work in a Bushimon. Uh, if you're a licensed teacher and you get a job in a public school, you're probably looking at like sixty to 70,000 NT a month uh, as a public school teacher, but you need a teaching license for that. Um, so, how do you do it? Basically, what you got to do is find uh, a part-time job for starters that will give you an ARC and you want to get like you know have them three or four teaching hours like in a row and um, it's totally possible to do. I had two uh, jobs in Taiwan like that. My first job gave me like uh, an ARC for teaching like 12 hours a week. Uh, sometimes I might have taught, taught as many as like 15 or 16 but usually it's closer to 12 hours a week. I got an ARC and stuff like that. So as possible, then my second, then I worked that first year some other part-time jobs. I didn't work that much because I didn't want it. Um, and then my second year, my second contracted job, I worked 18 hours a week. And I made uh, 650 an hour. For the first job I made, first main job, I made like 600 an hour. A couple part-time jobs, I made 650 or 750. Um, but it's just a couple, a few hours. So uh, it's possible to make more than 600 NT an hour, but I bet if it's your first year, you're probably going to be looking at that. But if you get a full-time job, like I said, you won't be getting paid that much an hour. I'll talk about that more later. So what you want to do, find something that's stable, that has cl like classes teaching in a row. Uh, this is an example I'm going to show you in the video. This is Ian, and we're looking at tlit.com right now. I'm going to show you a, a quick example of what I mean. So you got to find a couple part-time jobs. And so here's an example. Here's a school that's got a few different branches in Taipei City, Sunshine American School, right? So here, one of their branches, they're, they're looking for someone to teach 9 a.m. to 12 a.m. Monday to Friday with an ARC. That's good. That's like, that's like almost perfect. So right there, you're going to get three times 15 hours. That's like 
3,600, uh, what is that, 3,600, 36,000 NT a month. So that's pretty good right there. And then uh, at another branch, they've got, let's see, where was it? Right down here, uh, part-time afternoons, 2 p.m. to 6.30 p.m., Monday to Friday, except Tuesday. So again, that's like right there, you're looking at a day. So it's like uh, four and a half hours, three hours. It's like seven and a half hours, teaching hours. You need about eight hours a day for six days. So right there, that's like probably pretty much gives you like close to five days or whatever. But that's, that's a good start. That's going to have you up. So four and a half, like four and a half hours, what's that going to be? Four and a half. So four hours would be 48,000. So that's going to be probably more. It's going to be like maybe 50,000. Another fifty thousand NT, thirty six. It's like eighty six thousand NT, and then plus you still have you'll have Tuesday afternoon totally free. You can get another job, or Saturday you can get another job. So there you have it. So and then there you'll have pretty close to a hundred thousand NT. So that's what you got to do. You just got to find these part time jobs and start stacking up and get stacking them up, and uh, get one that gives you your ARC. You teach like three hours, get a job teaching like three hours in the morning somewhere, or two hours, whatever you can, whatever you can get, either in uh, teaching in a, a kindergarten, which is like uh, some people say it's illegal, and uh, technically it is illegal, I guess, but the feds don't really, or the government, they, no big deal. I think that's what I think. I'm sure there's some holy folks out there that would be like, that's illegal. You're gonna burn in hell for that. I've known it. I've known a lot of people who do that. Uh, as long as you have a legal ARC someplace, yeah, I really wouldn't sweat it. Um, so you could eat, or you could teach like adults. Like there's also adult classes sometimes, really early in the morning, like eight o'clock, or maybe even earlier than that. And um, like you could before twelve o'clock, and maybe you know it's maybe three or four hours. Kindergarten is not that. Kindergarten usually like maybe. 9 to 11 or something like that or so you could probably get two hours in a kindergarten maybe for teaching adults two three who knows um you're gonna have to look into it the school's a little different gonna be a little different uh, adults is usually a little bit less pay it's like usually like 550 so um, you can do that so then you get if if, <clears throat> if you can't get an arc in one of those schools then you can go to an afternoon job and let's just say say you get three hours in the morning and you're making 600 nt that's like 3600 a month, you can basically go and get another, like, you can just go get a full-time job five days a week, working like six or seven hours a day in the evenings, make 60000 that's like 60000 60, plus 36000 that's like 96000 right there, and then maybe get like a few, do a few privates here and there, or on Saturdays teach, you know, um, and there you have it. You get a hundred thousand dollars right there. Um, again, it's not easy to uh, do that. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the downers a little bit more later. Uh, basically, it's going to take a lot of like piecing together of jobs. You know, you get one job, get this chunk of hours, this chunk of hours, and another job, and um, you got to make them work, make them fit together. That's that's one of the challenges. Uh, work Saturdays, do privates. Uh, Okay, so the downers is, this is a long day. You're going to be in for some long days if you're, like, working that much. Um, it can be pretty tiring if you're, like, uh, it's difficult to get all those jobs to fit together and stuff like that. Probably won't have much of a social life. Um, yeah, you can still have your, you know, Saturday night or whatever, go out and party if that's what you want to do. Or um, much time for other activities and whatnot. Uh, if you're introverted... I don't know. Everybody's a little bit different. I can't say one introvert is going to be like the next introvert. Um, I'm, I'd say I'm mostly introverted, and I would say, yeah, for me, I don't want to teach that much. It's draining. I think it's tired, tiring. Um, just like, I need like time away from people to like get energy, you know? So if you're always teaching, like always around people, teaching eight hours a day, um, that's a lot. That's a lot of teaching. 
Um, your classes might stink. Like, if you're teaching that much, you might not have that much time to prepare. And that's another thing, like prep time, something you're going to have to consider too. Like, how are you going to, I mean, if you're a newbie teacher, like total, you know, yeah, you're going to be in for some tough times, I think. Uh, so you got to, like... You're gonna have to do some training, figure something out, figure a simple system out, something that works. Um, in the beginning, it's uh, uh, not for me. wasn't for me. Very easy for me. Uh, I think teaching is kind of um, pretty challenging. First year for me was tough. Um, then there's the commuting time. Like you know, you got to get from one school to another. How are you gonna do that? How long is it gonna take? How far are you gonna have to drive? Those things are, and is it sustainable? How long, how long can you do this? How long can you do it for, you know? Um, so, and then, yeah, like I said, the first time teacher thing's tough. And then teaching hours versus work hours. So, a teacher, you're only really paid for teaching hours, you know? Um, in a teaching, in some schools, like the ones that gave me the ARCs, they expected me to show up early and prepared and I didn't get paid for that so um, that's something to consider you know so 48 teaching hours a week is a lot like um, that's like 48 you're active you're, you're in the class all the time working that doesn't include like any prep time or anything like that and some schools could every school is different you know so um, so if you break it down, so if you just get a full-time, what well, most teachers do, they just go and they get one full-time job. And in Taiwan, it could be, you could be working, it depends, there's different kinds of schools, you know. You could work two hours in the morning and four hours in the afternoon, like teaching, and get a break for two hours. I think those jobs look pretty good. Uh, my friend Dale, that'll put a clip in here of him, he, he used to work some jobs like that. It's like kindy in the morning and elementary in the afternoon. Those are those can be pretty good. Or full time, maybe you work in a bushy bond at nighttime and you teach I don't know, two to nine, something like that, two to eight. You know, within those hours. Um, so you could work anywhere from end up in, usually you get to do office hours, usually. Uh, there's some jobs out there that aren't too strict about that, but usually if they're giving you an ARC they want you to put some preparation time in. So you're going to make, you know, 60000 50 to 60000 in a bushy bond job. And uh, you really break it down to the hour, it's only like 375 NT an hour or something like that. What does that do here? All right, so if you have, if say you find a job working 40 hours a week and you're making 60000 NT an hour, it only breaks down to 307. Wait a second, I missed it. Okay, so if you're working 40 hours a week and you're getting paid 60,000 NT a month, that's only 375 uh, NT dollars an hour. So it's like, ah, oh, man, for your time, you're not doing that well. So the ups, the ups of that are, well, obviously the money. And two, another up of, about it is, like, if you get one job that gives you the ARC, that's only for three or four hours or whatever. That's enough by itself to live on. Like I had a job like that. I know you can live on it. Uh, you're not going to be rich or anything, but and then you can get other jobs. And then if you get sick of those other jobs, you can quit them. You know, and you just still got the job that gives you the ARC, so you get some freedom that way. You know. So is this for you or not? I don't know. You're going to have to. Uh, um, I think for this to work, you're going to have to be, one, savvy. Savvy in the sense like teaching, have some sort of teaching savvy. Um, be high energy and uh, discipline. Just to like, you got to like focus, this is what I want to do, and go out there and make it happen, you know. If you're just kind of like, yeah, I'm going to go look for a job, maybe I'll try to get a high paid job, yeah. You gotta be really, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna focus on doing this. This is this is what's up. So, um, but even then, it's a lot of work and time, and you gotta think like, yeah, I don't know. You want to spend all your time working and stuff like that. Maybe you can do that for a period. Maybe say, all right, I'm gonna work hard. Maybe six months, whatever. 
uh, do that, but it's like once in a lifetime experience, right? This is all a once in a lifetime experience. Um, so, uh, do you want to spend all your time like working like that? And is it going to make you happy? Like, it's going to be kind of stressful, I think, working all that much, commuting from place to place. Could be stressful, but I don't know. Could be for you. You, you, it might work. So, anyways, now you know how to do it. Thank you. But well, that's if you want the money, you know. Some people come from the lifestyle. Some people just do part time and they work uh, 16 hours a week to get the ARC, yeah. and then that gives them enough money to live on, and then they can use that time to study Chinese, calligraphy, uh, study themselves, whatever.